John, nice to talk to you. It's supposed to be a nice quiet week in June. Instead, we've had an absolute roller coaster ride. The 10 year yield back down to 2.89%, and the 2's 10 spread is now at 34.9 basis points. What do you take away from all of this week's events, including this morning's imposition of the first tranche of tariffs in July? Uh, uh, my main takeaway this week is looking at the US Fed, that their announcement was mildly more hawkish than we expected. They removed their forward guidance of rates staying low for long. They strengthened somewhat their economic estimates. And they pulled forward one tightening in their median Fed funds forecasts. I think we're seeing that play out in the markets, as you cited, uh, the curve a bit flatter, long-term treasury rates a bit lower. I think that shows that at the margin, the Fed demonstrated they're a slightly ahead of the curve, and they slightly bolstered their credibility as an inflation fighter. You know, regarding the headlines about Chinese tariffs, I think we've seen a number of times in the past six months headlines that impact the markets, particularly the equity markets. And our sense is that we really need to wait for the longer term negotiations that are going to determine the final complexion of this. And we'd encourage investors not to respond to day to day headlines. Yeah, it just looks a little worse than it did a couple of days ago. China came back immediately this time and said there will be retaliation for this. We're looking at products. Uh, the dollar index is strengthening, but it doesn't look good for U.S. businesses. Stocks are lower for the most part. Well, like I said, this is a, a long-term game. This is the latest headline, and we wouldn't read too much into it.